For WLCSports.com, I'm Matt Friedman, and we're sitting down for our weekly football preview with Warriors head football coach Dennis Miller as the Warriors get set to take on Lakeland. It's Saturday, 1 o'clock at Taylor Field in Sheboygan. Coach, coming off of a bye week, how did you give the players a little bit of a breather over the last week, and what have the preparations been as you start to get ready for Lakeland? Well, it was a great week. We had an opportunity to, number one, come off of a win, so the attitude going into bye week was great. And then we had the opportunity during bye week to kind of work on things that, you know, need some fixing. And uh, we really felt good about the things that we accomplished. We were able to take a little bit of time off and, and give the players the opportunity to get home for a weekend. But uh, all in all, it was great. I think uh, physically it was great for us to just back away from the, from the rigors of, of camp and, and games. Uh, but mentally it was good as well. It just gave them a, a little bit of a chance to get a breather and, and hopefully get some homework done and do so, some of those kinds of things. And coming off of that 32-20 to 20 homecoming victory over Kalamazoo, a key was in the second half you started alternating at quarterback between the Anthonys, Anthony Hernandez and Anthony Rodriguez, uh, produced some great results. Talk about the impact that you have when offensively you can have those two different quarterbacks and trying to bring that into this week's game against Lakeland. Well, I think the diversity of the two quarterbacks makes it a, a very positive thing for us offensively. Uh, the entire year we had planned to, to be alternating back and forth between the two young men. And Saturday against Kalamazoo, uh, the opportunity arose where it looked like we wanted to take advantage of the different skill sets and uh, had the opportunity to get Anthony uh, Rodriguez into the game, and he just did a really nice job. He, uh, I think the players got a little bit of a, a lift with some of the things that he was giving us on, on that Saturday, and, uh, and we're excited about using that format going forward. And as you prepare for the Lakeland game, one of the things that the team has to deal with, unfortunately, is the loss of wide receiver Eli Campbell, uh, who was lost for the season during that game against Kalamazoo. How do you look to make up for his loss on offense? Well, he's a very good player, and obviously uh, what happens when you lose anybody on a football team, you kind of have to close ranks, and, and some, the next man up has to come in and do some, some things as well. So we've got a lot of guys playing at the wide receiver spot. Many of them are very talented. And the way we're looking at it as a coaching staff is somebody else gets an opportunity to go out and, and show what they're capable of doing. As you get set for this Lakeland team, they come in at 0-3, but coming off a, a couple of close back-to-back non-conference losses. So what have you seen from them on tape? What are you preparing for Saturday? Well, they're a very good football team, and, and they always are. Kevin, Coach Doherty does a great job with his group up there, and, and they play with a lot of energy. Uh, they've had a very rigorous non-conference schedule playing Carroll, Hope, and Carthage. And uh, just, just a very solid football team all the way around. I, I, I look at them and I think they have a, a very good offense, a very good defense, and a very dangerous special team. So they're a, they're a team that we're really going to have to battle for a, for a victory on Saturday. And where are some of the areas where you see them causing the most problems, creating the most challenges for your team? Well, defensively, they're a very active group. They, they do a lot, of, a lot of moving around, a lot of blitzing and, and that sort of thing, and they play with a lot of emotion. So we're going to just have to be aware of that, not be surprised by that, and execute fundamentals. Uh, with their offense, they're a big play offense. They, they have the capability both in their backfield and in the wide receiver spots to, to, to make a, a play in a hurry, score in a hurry. So we just have to be very solid in that regard. and. Uh, be fundamentally sound. And finally, Coach, what's it going to take to walk away from Taylor Field with a victory Saturday afternoon? Well, let's first hope that the weather cooperates and we don't have any rain delays this year. But, uh, you know, again, we're going to have to be, be solid in all three phases. We're going to have to make sure that we are, are good on our special teams, that we make some plays on special teams and we don't give anything up. Uh, offensively, we have to play with poise. There's no doubt about that. We just have to play within ourselves. And defensively, we just got to fly to the football. You know, if we, if we do those things on any game that we play, we're, we're going to be right in the thick of it, and, and we certainly feel that way about the Lakeland game. The Warriors are at Lakeland Saturday at 1 o'clock. The pregame show on WLCSports.com begins at 1 p.m.